Hey, how's it going guys? Flarp here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be hitting you with the best $700 gaming PC in December 2016. However, this PC will be excellent well into 2017. I made sure to make it very future-proof. Before I get into the build though, I want to say a few things. First of all, you guys are watching Doom Gameplay. If you want to pick up this game, you can pick it up for less than $20 on G2A.com, as opposed to $60 on Steam. If you guys don't know, G2A is a great place to buy PC games. They are often $10 to $20 off the retail price, and in some cases, they are extremely, extremely cheap. In this case, you're going to be saving $40 bucks if you buy from G2A as opposed to Steam, and I have a link down below in the description to pick up this game from G2A. Furthermore, I have the link to the PC part picker cart for this build in the description down below, as well as links to all of the parts on Amazon. That being said, we're going to hop straight into the build. For the processor, I chose the Intel Core i5-6400 2.7GHz quad-core processor. For $180, you're getting four Skylake cores that are going to do absolutely excellent. They're going to kick ass. Yes, $180 is a lot of money, especially in this budget, but it's really worth it. Shell out the $180 for the CPU and you won't regret it. For 1080p gaming, it really is necessary, especially in CPU-intensive games like ARK Survival and Arma. Not only that, when you're building a gaming PC, you're not just building a gaming machine, you're also building a fully functional desktop. That being said, if you wanted to do any kind of video editing, photo editing, rendering, recording, streaming, coding, whatever it might be, the Intel Core i5 is going to do very, very well in all of these different things. The power of an i5 is worth 180 bucks, especially when you overclock it. You can tap into a little bit of extra performance, and we're going to be doing just that. I chose the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo as the aftermarket CPU cooler for this build. No, you're not going to get extremely high overclocking frequencies, but you can probably push the CPU to at least 3 gigahertz with the Hyper 212 Evo. For the motherboard, I chose the Gigabyte GA-H110MA Micro ATX LGA-1151 motherboard for $47. This is not the fanciest motherboard, it only has two dim slots and it has no Crossfire or SLI support. However, I do not believe Crossfire or SLI is necessary at all on a build that's only $700. That really should not be a problem, and 8GB of memory is plenty for gaming these days. Yes, yeah, 16GB is being utilized more and more by games nowadays, so it's always something to keep in the back of your head for the future. But for right now, 8GB of DDR4-2133 RAM is going to be plenty. I did something a little bit unusual for the storage on this build. I usually only go with a mass storage drive, but I actually have a solid state drive as well. For the mass storage drive, I chose the Golden Standard, the Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 3.5-inch mechanical hard drive for $50. This hard drive is 1,000 gigabytes. You can store a lot of things on it. Recordings, some games, files, music, whatever it might be, this can do it. And for the solid-state drive, I have the PNY CS1311 240GB 2.5-inch solid-state drive for $65. Bucks. This is going to be great for Windows, your drivers, as well as some games, as it will greatly impact the loading and boot times. For the video card, I chose the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1060 3GB WinForce OC video card for $200. The direct AMD competitor for this card, I would say, is the RX 470 for 180 bucks. Though the RX 470 is $20 cheaper than this card, the GTX 1060 displays 15 to 20% better performance in almost every game tested. I really think the extra $20 on this card is going to be worth it as 15 to 20% performance can be a big difference. Housing this build is going to be the Rosewheel Galaxy 03 ATX mid tower case for $35. Though it is not the flashiest case, it's going to house your build, it's going to do just fine. It has four internal 3.5 inch bays, one internal 2.5 inch bay, and front panel USB 3 ports. If you want to shell out some extra money for a nicer case, be my guest. Personally, I am a firm believer that the case is not very important. As long as it has USB 3 headers, proper airflow, and a place for your motherboard, I don't see why you need to spend a lot of money on a nice looking case. I don't know about you, but I don't stare at my case when I'm playing video games, I stare at my monitor. The case is just a place for all the parts to sit. Some people, however, are different and they prefer to have a nice case. If that's you, go ahead and buy a different one. Powering the build is going to be the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply for $44. Not the best power supply on the market, however for $44 bucks, it's going to do everything you need it to. It is bronze certified, and this build is very, very power efficient. The i5-6400 and the GTX 1060 are both very, very power efficient components. The base total is $699.70 with $3 shipping, bringing your grand total to $702.68 before any mail-in rebates. Now, a lot of these components do have mail-in rebates, so you can probably get this for a little bit less than $700. 
especially with the holidays. I left out an optical drive for the build. Windows 10 is installed via USB. And if you wanted to get Windows 7 or any other operating system, you can do that on Reddit and use a USB flash drive for that. I personally never use my optical drive and I kind of regret wasting the money on it. But if you really wanted one, you could always go ahead and shell out the extra $15 to $20 and pick one up. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash the like button, comment down below what you thought of the video, and please, please, please request budget gaming PCs or any kind of price range that I could do for the next video. I'm here to help you guys out, so let me know. Like I said before, all the links are down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger?